Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video I would like to talk about the new raid we got in the summer update and that's going to be the new players raid also known as the Cabal's Revenge. This is a new raid that Kingsaw was trying to make a little bit more accessible than the last Crying Sky raid and I do believe they successfully done that and in general I want to say the general community sentiment and feedback has been mostly positive around this raid. I personally found myself having so much fun doing this raid so much so to the fact i actually didn't realize how much time was going by until i actually like, booted up my editing software i was like holy cow it's been 30 minutes that felt like 12 minutes and all so i'm really liking this new raid and i think it's really really good but there's some people in the community which is going to again be the like one percent that are like oh it's too easy and in my video i want to talk about every kind of stance and every point of the community because I've heard a lot of things, but I'm gonna start the video with a hot take here. I think most of the community is happy with the difficulty of this raid. I know the 1% people are really unhappy, like, oh, we're so easy to beat and all. That's fine. You guys should be able to beat things that easily. But it's important to realize how big the raid community was in the first raid and how many people we lost going into the second raid because of how hard and uh, how high the barrier to entry was. This new raid got a lot of those first raid people excited to get back into things and all, and I'm kind of really worried if Kingsile does listen to the 1% or whatever of the community and makes the raid a lot more difficult, it's gonna turn away a lot more of the player base. Now, as somebody who's beaten the raid and done the side bosses and all, and you know, helped with strats and came up with a couple of ideas myself, it's, again, a really fun raid it's completely reasonable i think the difficulty is completely fine where it's at if they do want to make things a bit more difficult if you will i think they should probably look into things like limiting the cannon i think it's a little silly that the players on the outside can just focus on simply doing the cannons and not actually the outside spell fights so maybe you could limit a cannon for each fight essentially to incentivize the outside players to actually do some of the spell fights because i'm not seeing a lot of people actually do the spell fades on the outside and aside from that i really wouldn't change anything on the outside i think the outside is really good it's very casual friendly it's not difficult at all you can maybe raise the mobs health so they don't die to just like a wand hit or something but you don't need to make the raid that much more difficult at all because then you're gonna run into a spot like the second raid where it's inaccessible for most players and it's going to turn away a lot of the player base this raid should be looking to get back the players that you lost because you mess up on the second raid i think this new raid has done that i think it's made those more casual middle ground players excited to actually do a raid and look forward to it and typically on my channel here you guys know me i'm not like oh this is actually a really really good change a really good update really really good content but no i actually believe the actual content of this raid is good where the difficulty is at and all right now and i'm going to talk about my issues that i have with the raid in a moment here but i think king would be shooting themselves in the foot if they chose to make this raid way more difficult like i said you should just do very minor things like limiting the cannon to incentivize outside fights and maybe raising the mob health on the outside from like 600 to like a thousand or something just minor buffs so they don't die to a wand head to put this in perspective guys the first raid i did with the raptors we got a win and i quite frankly had no idea what i was doing and i was like slowing the timer and all and we still won with like nine minutes left on the clock. And that's completely fine and that's completely acceptable. We've seen people do that with Crying Sky Raid and the first raid as well. If your team is cracked and all, you should have excess time left over. So yeah, that's what I think about the raid difficulty and all. I think most players generally are happy. I think there might be that little echo chamber of the 1% that might be, you know, for the lack of better words here bitching and whining that oh it's too easy and all 99.9% .9 of the game isn't going to have that level of coordination or things in the game or the time like you guys do so it's not fair to balance the whole game around you take it from a guy who also has everything you should be thankful for what you have and all and be happy that you're one of the first people to figure out the thing in the first place now let's talk about the actual incentives to get you into a raid and coming back and all 
I think this is probably one of the biggest issues with the new raid, and just in general, Kingsaw has an issue with keeping players retained in their game. But I think the new content is really, really good, but I think the reasons to do the raid are just very lackadaisical, to say the least. The gear you get from this raid is really, really bad for both PvP and PvE. For PvE players, you are going to want the robe, because that is going to be objectively the best robe in the game. It's basically the Nelody robe for 170, so like you're definitely gonna wanna get that as a PvE player. But for somebody who does PvP or like advanced content, a lot of this gear is really, really bad. Maybe a couple of the defensive schools can make it work because there is kind of a bias towards them. But generally for most players in the game, this gear is just really, really bad. Same thing with like the Athames and the Rings. They don't give any health, so they're automatically just not good at all. And the decks just aren't good because the new pack decks that are coming out from like the new gold key bosses or whatever, along with the new spells, are simply just way better. I think one of the best drops and one of the most unique drops from the raid is the mount. There's basically a mount where there's like penguins holding you up and it displays your school symbol or something. And I think that's really, really cool. And just the mount alone with the PBE robe you're going to want is probably what players are going to be doing this raid for ultimately. As of right now, there's no pets, unfortunately, which is disappointing to see because we saw that in the first two raids. And in the first raid, which is very similar to this one in a way, you actually had pretty good desirable pets. Now they weren't all good. I'd say only like two were good, three max, but it was an extra reason to go in and do the raid, but they just kind of took that away, unfortunately. So. Hopefully they could add like a pet in this raid, you know, maybe make a new pet, not like a retexture, make it look cool and all, and maybe give a decent item card. But yeah, I mean, like there's just really no reason to do this gear unless you want the mount as a cosmetic, you want the stitch gear as a cosmetic, or you're a PvE player and you want the robe. Aside from that and the actual content itself, there's just no reason to farm this raid or do it at all. And if I'm not mistaken, you don't even get like that much spellment drops at the end of the raid or just in general in the raid. In the Crying Sky raid, you got like 60 freaking spellments a win, right? I don't recall ever seeing that in this new raid at all. So I think that's something that could also add to, ma to make the raid feel better to actually win itself. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with this update. I really like where the barrier of entry is with it. The accessibility, most of the community seems happy about it and all. I just really hope King Sol does not listen to the wrong people with this update because they've done that a couple of times and it's a little disappointing to see. But uh, yeah, overall, Really, really happy with this new raid. I hope a lot doesn't change from test to live. Like I said, I wouldn't mind a bit more difficulty with like trying to incentivize players to do outside fights and less cannons and all. But aside from that, I think the rest of it is fine. I think if you are unhappy with the difficulty and all, you just seriously need to do some self-reflection and realize that you are the 1% and most people aren't going to be as cracked as y'all are or myself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments below. Leave a like and sub if you made it this far. And uh, thank you for watching. Take care, guys.